So here we have the Audi A3 on a 21 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with the three individually folding rear seats, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the far right-hand side, first of all, we have the fuel gauge. Uh, we then have the speedometer with a digital readout for the speedometer as well. The rev counter within which uh, it will show you the gear this car is in. It's an automatic, so we're in park at the moment. And on the left-hand side, the battery charge uh, level in this vehicle as well. Uh, in the center, you can see the total miles, which are 4,393. You can change the information displayed above that uh, using buttons on the steering. We're on the kind of driving data menu at the moment. We have a satellite navigation menu, as you can see, notes and audio menu there too. If we back out to the steering wheel, the buttons I was using a second ago are just here. Beneath that, we have cruise control and speed limiter. And over on the right-hand side here, stereo and phone controls. The phone controls can only be used after such time as you pair the phone up to the car. And that is done over on the touch screen in the center. We're on the home screen at the moment, so you would hit the phone button just there, open that up and follow the instructions on screen. Um, when it comes to audio, we have our audio menu over on the left-hand side just here. Uh, we have, of course, got the radio, as you can see. Uh, this car also has uh, the ability to listen to your own music, but up in the top right-hand corner here, uh, you can access the different radio sources, for example. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do that uh, a number of ways. You can plug in uh, USB devices. You can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well once you've paired up your phone. You can also see this car has got satellite navigation. Uh, very easy system to use. And then we have a separate main menu just there. So if you want to access your own music options, you can do. Uh, for example, your Bluetooth audio is accessible there, as are the USB inputs that I mentioned a moment ago. Below that section, we have dual zone climate control. So you can adjust the passenger temperature up and down, up, up and down, so up and down. Same for the driver temperature as well. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. Here you can turn your air conditioning to max, eco, normal, i.e. on or off, depending on which setting you want it on. Uh, you can then uh, adjust the direction the air is being distributed in and leave it that at that if you wish to. Or hit auto, the car will now maintain those temperatures by taking full control of the fan speed for you, which you can hear it doing. It'll also take the control of the direction of the air. Any manual adjustment will override auto straight away again, and you'll put it back on your own manual settings. Beneath that, we can turn the traction control off. We can force the vehicle into electric vehicle mode. If there's enough charge, we're in electric, electric vehicle mode at the moment and we can change the driving setup of the car. So you can put the car in efficiency, comfort, auto, dynamic or individual, which means you can customize the settings in the car yourself. We then have some storage just here, two USB-C inputs, as you can see, with the volume for the stereo, the button to start and stop the car, and then the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leads me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.